Hello, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy, what? Happy Friday! <laughs> happy Friday that we're on. Good morning to y'all. Hope you're all doing well. We're another day closer, guys. Another day closer, and another day closer spending with our Lord. Check out this pink ribbon. My wife found this, and she's amazing. Just want to lift her up and say how amazing she is, and I love it. I love, love that. But anyways, well, had a, of course I had someone kind of come on the channel and call me mentally insane and say that I had a typo and I need to learn how to spell. <laughs> and I just want to say... I'm sorry guys, sometimes I type things out and it doesn't come out right, it doesn't come out completely right, and I normally talk text and it doesn't come out right, but guess what, I'm doing it all out of love, and I'm not saying lies to you guys, I'm just telling you what I've been through, okay, and what I'm going through, I try to be as transparent as possible, but this person wanted to really just be mean really be mean and so I just removed her from the channel and I don't don't like doing that but at this point um, some people are I prayed for her though and I'm still gonna pray for you uh, sister I, I hope and pray your sister in Christ um, but I'm praying for you I said a prayer on the bus with my wife and I will not stop praying for you. And guys, I can't say enough. What was it? You guys were with me, family. When I had literally somebody tell me that they were going to come and kill me during the tribulation after they came after the Jews. That is what someone commented to me. And I mean, I'm sorry, but that was pure evil. Pure evil in its, its form. And, you know, I literally, hi guys, I literally just removed that person, uh, blocked them, everything that you can do. And luckily, thank God, there is a, blessfully, I don't like saying luck, because I don't believe in luck. I believe in blessings, and we reap what we sow. But, yes, luckily, thankfully, there is a, a hide user from channel button for YouTube creators and guys I wanted to talk a little bit this morning this is what my pastor gave to me okay and this is amazing amazing book a chosen generation all right and I'm gonna to read to you what it says the front of it but guys I just want to say real quick I know we're all waiting for the rapture I am I am every single day I'm looking up every day I am looking up every single day because I, I know in my heart and my mind that it could be any minute. It could be tomorrow. It could be the next day. It could be in five hours. And I don't look, but I just, I live every single day like he's coming. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But in the same time, I'm letting God, uh, you know, I, he's running my life. He's running my life. And I'm praying. I'm praying for God's glory to come down. I'm praying for it, guys. And our country, America, is ripe. Is ripe for revival. There's nothing wrong with praying for that. There's nothing wrong with praying for that, brothers and sisters. And I know. I'm watching. I'm watching things happening for the rapture. You know, and I'm seeing all these things happen, and it, it's just getting closer and closer and closer. And I, I'm not losing my hope. And you guys can't lose your hope either, okay? And I'm going to talk about something else. Uh, first of all, the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died for all sin, past, present, and future. And once you believe in that, you are saved. When you believe in Jesus' finished works, you are saved, sealed. You know, you open your heart. He knocks at the door at your heart and you let him in once you believe. 
and what he did, and you are saved, sealed until redemption. Isn't that right, Whiskers? Huh? <laughs> okay. Now, brothers and sisters, if you guys, you have to remember when we hear other channels you know you hear other people talking about saving food and water and that we're going to lose our banks and money and all this stuff yes that is going to happen but in my opinion i don't believe that it's going to happen while we're here okay when all that goes south a big event has to happen it has to and what what's our next prophetic event that I believe and you guys believe the rapture okay but until then the Holy Spirit is still here the Holy Spirit is still here on this earth in us in us the same spirit that God rose Jesus from the dead with is inside of us okay so you have to remember that and I'm speaking to one person here. Um, don't let those... I know it's hard. The fear comes on you. And these maybe these other channels are, are speaking to not the body of Christ. Okay? Maybe they're speaking to, um, you know, unbelievers. Maybe that's what they're talking... Maybe that's the groups they're talking to. But as for us, guys, we got nothing to fear. We got the Holy Spirit inside of us living and indwelling in us. And what happens during the rapture, we already know. God takes His Holy Spirit home. He takes His children home. And we have the Holy Spirit in us. So we don't have nothing to fear, brothers and sisters. Nothing to fear. Because Jesus is in here. He's in me and you. Let me read this to you real quick. A chosen generation I can't get it on camera but I'll just read it here but you but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into marvelous light first Peter 2 9 and I want to thank my my great awesome friend and brother in Christ my pastor who gave me this and I haven't started reading it but uh, I started reading there's a scripture and a and kind of like an intro for every single day and uh, I thought about sharing that with you guys let's just see today's March today is March 23rd I believe yeah guys it, and I'm sorry I really pray for this sister that it, it's been bothering me today but I read a scripture today in my Bible app on the phone it said father it was talking about mockers and scoffers you know if you don't do anything out of love man love is all in me from the Holy Spirit I try to glorify him and everything I say and everything I do do I always know but I really try I yield to the Holy Spirit and you know let him just take over and if I say something bad or wrong I always apologize but I say everything out of love and God gets all the credit all the credit for giving me his Holy Spirit me believing in him and thank you Father God for that okay let's read March 23rd this is called be transformed Romans 12 2 it says when it comes to serving the Lord if we are not rooted and grounded in his word we will find ourselves looking a lot like the present world fundamental Baptist churches today have forsaken the truth of Romans 12 2 we are the stand um, excuse me we are commanded not to conform to this world but as time goes on we see Baptist churches changing the Bibles changing the, their standards changing their music all in the name of compromise when we conform our own lives in this world 
our homes become conformed and when our homes are conformed to this world our church churches follow suit to avoid transforming to this world paul advises us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind our minds can be renewed man we should not uh, our excuse me guys sorry our minds can be renewed by the word of god when we have been born again we should not keep the same mind we should not think as a lost man or woman we shouldn't live as a lost man or woman but we are to be changed salvation through jesus christ produces a new creature because if we fail to do so then cometh compromise the way the way in which we think should not be conformed by the direction the world is going but it should be transformed through god's word amen guys that's a good one if you guys wouldn't mind i'd like to start reading these with you of course we're reading through psalms too uh, we must see this world we must see ourselves we must see sinners through the mind and eyes of jesus christ amen man that speaks on so many things we we're just talking about you guys i love you brothers and sisters and and the ones that subscribed on here i don't know if i tell you guys enough i know we're all going through things we're all getting um, I, I keep seeing brothers and sisters growing through a lot of things some in particular that like, you know and just remember that you are not alone the Holy Spirit is with you and God knows exactly where you are family each and every one of us and what does it say in John he will not let anyone remove either one of us out of our father's hand ever and I love you all so much you guys are family we are all family and that sister in Christ man I don't know maybe she's just having a bad day but uh I don't know what I said that was so bad. We literally, what started, I got on there, she said, AI is evil. Well, yes, I don't agree with AI, but God knows our hearts and our minds and our souls. He knows that we're, we're using AI right now. I'm using AI on this, uh, this video. We use it on the Internet. And I don't know if she understood that. That doesn't mean I'm worshiping it or, you know, uh, I, all I said was God knows our hearts and our minds and I said unfortunately we're using AI by this even this conversation we're having <laughs> I don't want to be and I I don't use I, and I had an option come on my iPad for me to use AI I don't use it and I never will guys and I want to say that this is all me here I mean all God through me and I'll never use AI I won't not to make these videos look cooler or anything like that so I just want to say that but that's what the whole conversation was this morning too and I just there's gonna be people brothers and sisters you guys already know trying to steal your joy do not let them the Holy Spirit is in us and praise God for that I love you brothers and sisters we're in this together and we're almost home every day closer but I'm going to pray. Let's pray real quick. We're already at 14 minutes. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us closer. I pray for that sister in Christ that you could humble her heart. I, we love her and we pray for her. We pray for everyone that watches this video that they are touched and they grow closer to you. We love you, Father God. We, we are praying for every watchman and watchwoman that they have extra strength comfort and peace all in jesus name we pray for peace in israel and jerusalem we pray for all the lost and all the jews to be saved we pray that the enemy does not prosper against us we pray all these things in jesus mighty name amen and i know guys i i am a rapture watcher i am looking every single day i'm a watcher for Jesus and and every time I get a chance you guys if somebody I see someone me and my wife just went into town 
And if there's someone that comes up to me or I hear the Holy Spirit say, go talk to this man, I'm going to go talk to him. And I didn't make any salvation letters because I was not feeling well at all yesterday or the day before. Also had a spider bite on my neck <laughs> that I actually had a fever after that. And uh, I try to take care of my wife as much as possible too and spend time with her. You know, so I'm sorry if I haven't been seeing comments and I don't get back to them fast enough, guys. I try. I love you all, brothers and sisters. I, we are another day closer. Don't hang your head. And every time the enemy tries to come at you, you are washed by the blood. You are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you are a beautiful child of God. I'm Nathaniel. I'm a beautiful son of God. And you are beautiful child of God yes all right brothers and sisters have a good day if anybody needs prayers or anything always in the comments love y'all Nathaniel I'm out